Good morning and welcome to our first day in Saranda. Now, Saranda is actually the unofficial capital of the Albanian Riviera and it is so beautiful. I'm so excited to explore. We had breakfast included at our stay at our hotel. So we had, did have some Albanian and some traditional English food there, which was really good. I'm ready to explore. As you would have seen yesterday, we checked into our hotel. We thought for the first few days down here in Saranda, we'd help out the local businesses again. Being with coronavirus and it now being September, a lot of the actual main tourists that visit Saranda are Albanians themselves. But because the schools are back, it's actually quite quiet. So we sort of have the whole of this beautiful horseshoe shaped bay to ourselves, And we're actually only a stone's throw away from the local city beach. It isn't like the nicest beach in Saranda, I don't think, but it's the one slap bang in the city where we are staying. And just look at this view, it's incredible. You've got the Ionian Sea to my left, Olive Grove Hills up in the mountains behind me. It is, it really is incredible. And I think this place is gonna blow up. The promenade that goes all the way around the bay is literally full of lovely restaurants, lovely bars, some that go out onto the seafront. And at night, it's also lit up and beautiful as we saw yesterday when we walked outside. But today, we can't think of what the word is that this bay looks like, but it is so You can picturesque. see why so many Albanians come here on holiday. Yeah, it, I can't I said, believe- this, this place is gonna boom. This it's place everything will you need boom, but I can't believe like, other tourists don't come here as well. It's beautiful. Uh, right next to the promenade is the public beach. Is this the city beach? Main city beach. I mean, I said it's not the nicest of beaches, no, but right, it's that water still looks incredible. for a city beach, this is the cleanest thing I've ever seen. It's so clean. of an Albanian beach. It's nice. I like it. It's not as packed as normal because, did you say that all the schools are the Schools here? are back and obviously COVID. You'd thought this would be a lot busier, which it obviously normally is because it is the city beach. Um, but I mean, yeah. it's not the nicest. Like, I, don't, I don't like yeah. the stones. No, the stones are really annoying, but the sea's really refreshing and it's a nice colour. And do you know what I've spotted? What? Diving board. Don't get I any go ideas. On the diving board. Nope. I'm going on it. <laughs> I would say this is the coolest thing about the city beach. This diving platform, oh, hold on, let me get up there, which overlooks, look at that view, the whole of the city of Sarande. It actually reminds me a bit of like Postiano or something like that, with the apartments and the hotels going up the mountains behind the actual beachfront with all the bars and restaurants on the beachfront. It is incredible, but I said I was gonna jump. I'm not jumping today. I don't actually know how deep this is, and I don't know, I'm not looking to land on a rock first day at the beach. But comment below before I leave Saranda, I've got to jump off here. I have really let myself down not jumping. You put yourself to shame, everyone else was all jumping. The, all the locals were as well. <laughs> but I just, I didn't, it wasn't even high. Like I just didn't know how deep it was. That was the problem. We need to go up the stairs, I think, here. We are leaving the beach now, the public beach. Oh, it's mm -hmm. much bigger over here, look at this. There's more of the public beach as you walk through. Um, but we're just walking along the promenade now and we're heading round to, I think there's a beach just off the horseshoe. Where have you gone? I'm here, I'm walking upstairs. <laughs> just off of the horseshoe. I'm not sure of the name of it. I'll probably find out when we get there, but it looks a lot nicer and it might even be sand. This promenade is much diff more different than the one back there. This has got like dodgems and lots of things for children. This, this, so we, the other so side, what we'll do is we'll drop Molly off here <laughs> and I'll walk around and check out the other beach. <laughs> here right. At the end of the bay is like the ferry port where you can get the ferry to Corfu, which I'm not sure is running at the moment. And they also have ferries that go to different beach resorts in Albania. So we have headed round to Plaza Podra, which is a beach which is probably about 
I'd say a five, 10 minute walk from the main Saran, the town center and the Saran, the city beach. So this is essentially the closest beach to the city, apart from the city beach. Again, it's a pebbly beach, but we have come in for a beer first. This beach is so much busier than the other beach, probably because it has loads of deck chairs and the sea is a lot bluer. Um, but we've just decided to sit down at Era and grab a beer. You always gotta have a beer when you come to the beach before we actually go and explore. There's just loads of really nice hotels and bars along here, some of which, which are actually closed. I mean, we'd seen things on this a few weeks ago and it was really, really busy. So I'm assuming that is just because perhaps lots of kids are back at school and people are back at work. Yeah, it's a lot emptier than I expected, but busier than the other beach. You'll actually find um, the inner city itself, if you head around the other way, there's a lot of the beach clubs, nightclubs. So obviously if you're wanting a good drink, that is the way to come. But if you want something a little bit more relaxed, I'd say head around this way, because there's a few hotels and resorts to get a nice, cheap, cold beer. Straight into the sea, cool, that is cold. I haven't actually been in properly. This is a lot, the pebbles are a lot nicer here. Yeah, really so small, aren't they? Yeah, it's easier to go in the sea. Oh, it's really cold. That is really, really cold. It's the first time on our new GoPro as well. So let us know what the picture's like, whether the angle of the lens is too wide. If you want it closer, let us know. I hope um, the sound's okay as well. Yeah, I hope so. Well, oh it, my it, God, it cost gets... enough. If the sound's rubbish, I'm gonna be annoyed. It gets deep real quick. Mm -hmm. I'm going in for a swim. You're gonna have to take the GoPro. No way! It is lovely. I can't believe the colour of the water. Um, it's got that Gatorade blue, especially when you get the drone up. I, did, I didn't expect this this close to the city. I've seen things when you head out of Saranda, the beach is incredible. But this one is a little hidden gem within the city. It was so nice getting back in the sea. I'd definitely recommend the Plaza Quadra Beach over the city beach. It's just got a lot more going on. It's a nicer beach, the sea's a nicer color. Um, but before going back to the room, I couldn't not head up to the rooftop bar on our hotel. The views over all of Surrender from up here are incredible. You can watch the sunset behind me, have a cocktail, and relax. So we didn't end up going for a cocktail in the end, we just watched the sunset. We got back to the room, had a quick change of clothes, and now we are on our way out to the promenade. We actually, oh yeah, Matt actually got bitten by something in the sea, uh, and it made his leg swell up. We are walking to the promenade, and we are going to a restaurant called Limony. It's actually really well known because it sits right on the front and overlooks the sea. Apparently it's always busy. Hopefully it's not too busy tonight. You know the restaurant's good when there's a 10 minute wait. As we expected, it was very busy and we did have to wait to get a table, but nothing beats the view of sitting along the bay. It's amazing. This place is actually quite ancient. They've got- It's famous, some... ancient, 20 years. Well, yeah, but it's actually got pictures of what the bay used to look like and it was so empty. So it's nice to see how much it's developed, but kept the same structure. This was actually built in 1998. So it's been around quite a long time. I can't believe how big it is, it's huge. Oh, honestly, it's massive. This place is huge. We're in the restaurant and then all of this around here follows out the bay. I see it earlier today. I thought it was a different restaurant, but this is all like the bar and where you eat your desserts. It is massive. So to start, because the prices are so reasonable for this, uh, honestly, for this view, you could be in any other European summer holiday destination. I'm telling you, Albania is going to blow up. But we went for the tzatziki because we are literally- Look at this, so good. We are literally 15 minutes from Corfu. So you've got to have something that's a little bit Greek. I'm going all in now, I have a big dunk. That is good. Tzatziki is so good, but we're boring. We've got another pizza. 
Albania just loves to feed us. This is the Italian influence though. You've got the Greek influence, Italian influence. We've done quite well. I don't know if this is weird, but I'm getting tzatziki and I'm putting it on the pizza. <laughs> weird combination. And we are back in the room. The food, how good was the food? The food was so good. Mm -hmm. I hadn't had tzatziki in such a long time, but I think the Greek influence really helped. I think that is fresh from, I'm, I'm gonna say that's come fresh from <laughs> Corfu. Um, oh, well, and the pizza came fresh from Italy. <laughs> exactly. Uh, all of that, three, let's say four beers, starter, main course. Pints. Comes about 12 English pounds, which was really, really good. Today, probably not the most exciting of vlogs. It was just sort of like one of them ones, exploring the city. And when you're at the beach, you're gonna relax, aren't you? Um, and also we needed to see what Saranda was like, get our bearings. Exactly. It's our very first day. Nothing so. planned, walk around, see what's going on. Exactly. We'll have a lot more planned in the next few days. So make sure if you're not already, hit the subscribe and we will see you tomorrow.